welcome back to the workshop to my channel so today in this video we're going to be working on a record number seven uh joint and plane wanted one of these planes for ages i just wasn't willing to pay the hundreds of pounds for people who are selling ones that are basically fully restored kept my eye on ebay for one that needed restored this one is in pretty good condition for what it is but still you can always make the planes look better even for the factory brand new you can make it look a hundred times better so right, that's what we'll be doing today, uh, making a wee holder to put it up from other ones. So right, man, if you're new to the channel and you go on to like this video, consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. I don't really ask people to subscribe. I always kind of have the ethos that if people like what I do, then they'll subscribe to keep watching, you know. But if you like my content, consider subscribing. Um, so I right, man, let's get to it. Three bit of wood. Nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, man. Nice, man. A spare blade. Oh, that's sweet, man. That's very kind of the guy. So, right, there we go. A number seven. So I, I won the auction at £51 and it was £6 postage. So, you know, I paid 57 basically 60 bucks. Sure, but the guy did say that it was poorly stored for 20 years. You can see water damage here where it's been sitting in water. And somebody's either, so he's nice and smooth and all. So somebody's maybe gave it a wire wheel, you know, wire brushed it. Um, and then he did say, he, he said that this bit was pitted as well, but you know, man, that looks in no bad condition. And he said the inside of the blade was all rusted. Oh, you can see it. But he's, he's obviously put a bit of work in it, you know, before passing it on. Sharpened it as well. But the fact that, the fact that he gave me a second blade, and as I said, that's basically brand new, man. You know, these blades have rarely, rarely been sharpened. Rarely. I actually cannot believe that. And then a spare blade for it. Buzzing, man. We'll clean this up, and I want to get this flat, true. Um, clean the sole up, paint this. Redo the handles. I don't like the varnish in the handles. I like to actually see the wood. So we'll, we'll redo that, oil them, um, and then we'll make a holder for it. I shifted all this stuff just to lang a wee bit, just to give me a wee bit of space there so I could move this along here. And then I'll have a space right in there for the number seven, man. Nice. This bit's going to be the most time consuming and tedious part because I'm going to have to sand this on a flat surface. Now, I have got my my surface plate there but it's no, it's no big enough. Um, so I have got pieces of glass there. We should be able to use a piece of this. Let's right. go start with 120. All right, so it's about what? That was about another twenty minutes there. You can see we are making progress, but slow. And I can feel that in my finger, you know. So what I'm going to do, um, I've got 60 grit here. And this is a bit aggressive, but I'm going to put a bit of this down. Um, and I'm going to try and, I just want 
to get rid of these bits, so I'll do a bit of work on the 60. I thought that I could get away with it with a 120, but it's just not aggressive enough, so... Definitely making progress. That's a good sign, man. That's a good sign. I just need to keep at it. So I probably won't need to spend as much time on this one compared to the number five and a half that I restored. That one was rusted to heck. It has only been just there an hour. Definitely making progress. better and I will be able to get rid of them it's just gonna take time so whilst past down does the grinding on that I start making the holder for it we're gonna join these here and let them dry by the time this is dry Pass down and be done doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just going to cut some finger joints and just glue it up. Back to Pascal. You can just barely see it. So I, I'm just going to spend a bit of time now. Do the sides. Pretty flat along this side. There's a wee small low spot there, but I can come in with just a wee block and with sandpaper and fix the bits. Well, there's a low spot like oh, this tap part. It's kind of low. Happy with the results so far, man. Getting there. Made good, good progress today. And I'm going to start working on these bits here. Some chips and scratches and things. So I'm going to get my file. I'm going to start filing. I'm just going to work my way down. Looking a lot, lot better, man. Pretty good. And you, you, can, you can still see a wee bit in the right line, see it there? So I'm just going to get a block of wood and start, start doing the sides, getting them up to maybe 400 or something, we'll see. We'll see. But looking no bad. I mean, I'm not going to do it up to a mirror polish. 
that, that's just stupid doing that. Right, let's continue away the note. Came them together pretty well. The base. And then we've got the sides. I'm going to cut one and then I'm going to rip it down the middle to get two wee thin bits. But I want to make sure that I've, I've got enough. Bit here to make our, our top and bottom part. I don't think I'm going to take it any further than that, to be honest with you. What's bothering me and annoying me on this side is that, I mean, there's certain there's stains on it, and I, I just can't get, I just can't get rid of them. I'm going to have to go at it again, try and get rid of that, man. Honestly. So annoying. <laughs> I probably will wear this one again to see if I can get that stain out, but we'll move on for the time being. Still need to do the bottom. Going to work on these bits. It's going to take it up to a thousand like this. I'm going to finish doing the bottom now, bring that up to 1100 and I'm going to try and go out the sides to get that weird mark out and then finish this. Pretty happy with how that's looking. happy with it man it looks a million times better than it did and you can't see you can you can see them a wee teeny bit if i zoom right in you see like the pitting but i'm going to have to just live with him if you really want rid of them man you, you need you're gonna to have to spend another few days doing that i probably painting it'll be the next step Not get rid of that. No, it's like it's just deep through the metal. So just got to sell. <laughs> just got to get this last wee one sell away. Eleven hundred, oh, oh, twelve hundred. Okay, it's probably going to need about three quarts. I'd say. First coat, I said, just a wee thin layer. Oh, missed a wee bit there. Just a wee thin layer. And the next layer, I'll, I'll come in and be a wee bit thicker. Let's uh, get the varnish off these. Going with this one.
you know, the chrome on this, it's not too bad. I think it's all right, it's not too bad, but we can repaint this. Just gotta let this dry, and then I'll go back at it with acetone, try to clean up a bit. Alright, we still need to split it in half. We'll use the sand on now to pretty them up. Right, that's perfect right there like that. Might well, get this cut down the middle, then we can glue it up. Didn't need that much work, you know. And I'm going to use this blade here. That was the one that I got away at. Um, but I like the look of this one. Um, same with the chip breaker. I'm not going to do anything to that. You know, they look good. It looks a lot better. I'm not going to bother, you know, trying to take the chrome off. Um, there is some scratches and marks, but... It looks all right, and the paint will be dry on the plane and that. We've done everything else. We just need to finish up with a holder, <coughs> um, just a wee bit of refining with sanding, um, and then a wee bit of varnish, and then we can get the plane together and get the holder up in the wall. We clean up and then we'll varnish it. And then we'll get the plane back together.
this enough time to dry. Looking good, man. Nice coat on it. So, everything's ready. They all look nice, exactly the way I, was. I want them. A wee bit of dark edit, it's not a problem. Um, what about the paint job? I sort of messed that up, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, it's dry down here, nice, but uh, here's all right. But then up here, I didn't put a thick enough layer on. See, it's just sort of crinkled a wee bit. Um, but it's all right, it's all right. Better than it was before. So let's put it together. So, do a wee bit of sharpening on this one. Take the chip breaker. That oh, looks pretty good. A wee bit of oil. Let's get the holder up in the wall, but first, I mean, the number seven's quite heavy, so. Let's take the tape off it. Nice man. Nice. I'm gonna get a wee clean with acetone and put a wee bit of beeswax on it. Let's go. So it goes up. Nice. There we go, man. Like a glove. Let's test it. Let's get a nice bit of hardwood. And um, look, that plane there is called a jointer plane. So it's made to plane the edges of a board to join them together. Let me get a bit of hardwood. We'll do a bit of planing. Got a nice big bit here. I'm not sure what it is. It's either mahogany or um, English walnut. It's a really hard, dense bit of wood. Bit of oil. Oh, look at that, man. Nice man. Um, air the moon with it. It planes lovely. If I have got one complaint, the horn seems a bit thin, but that is just because, um, you know, I reworked it and I sanded it. The horn feels a wee bit skinny for what it is, you know. <laughs> so, 
So I hope you enjoyed that guys. I really enjoy the process of restoring planes, especially a plane that is mega, mega rusty, you know, and you just bring it back to life, get a new lease of life. This one was not in that bad a condition. I could have took that and used it the way it was. I, a couple of my planes there, that's exactly, I received them. They were in, work, they were in usable condition. This one's a special one. Yeah, always wanted a number seven. I remember back, like, like before I had my channel, um, and I was doing kind of projects where I was joining bigger boards together. And a plane like that, 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 is, that is what it was made for, you know. Playing in the edge, I long boards, um, and I never had it. I, I didn't even have any of these ones. I just had number fours, and the learning curve on that, you know, is massive. But with enough time, develop enough skill, you can do everything with a number four plane. You know, you should just invest enough time, and you're practicing, and you'll be able to use. A number four plane. You move it today. Everything with that, and what these bigger planes can do. Just time and skill. That's all it is. But I, man, as I said, I've always wanted a number seven. You know what I mean? Always. But it's one of these things. It's a tool that I'm not going to be using all the time. You know, it's going to come out once in a blue moon. But when you've got it and it's there, it is a an amazing tool to use. Um. I I just couldn't justify paying the couple of hundred pound for people who have bought ones or had ones for years in good condition or restored them, and they're wanting like 150, 200 pound. I just it's not even I couldn't justify. It. I've just not got that kind of money to throw at a tool, you know, that I'm not really going to use. So always keep my eye on eBay, and I seen that one coming up. And if I'm being honest, I I didn't think I was going to win it. I honestly thought the auction would have went a lot lot higher. So. I one of these sneaky moves, but it was sitting at forty. It was sitting at forty-seven, um, and I just left it to the last minute. I did the bid. I just left it to the last minute, and right as that five second comes on, it comes in. I'll usually add twenty quid onto it. Most people, when they're doing that, they'll maybe add t a ten or fifteen onto it. Um, so I, you just add another twenty or thirty on. You're usually guaranteed to win. You know, sneaky. But that's what you got to do to get the tool cheap, you know. But hi, man. So definitely, if you're wanting tools like this, but and you're not wanting to pay mega bucks, keep your eye on eBay. Um, you know, it's it's a good experience because you can get them really worn or rusted, and you can take that and restore it, and you'll gain experience restoring it like that, you know. So hi, man. I'll stop yabbing on. If you enjoy my content and you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? There's plenty of other videos there. I'm sure you enjoy. So I'll let you go, alright? Take it easy, God bless, guys. And don't forget, bold song. See you later.